Thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. Afib. I'm Dr. Morales. In today's video segment, we're going to be talking about shortness of breath and why does atrial fibrillation make you feel short of breath? So there's many ways in which atrial fibrillation can make somebody feel short of breath. And so I'm going to go over a few of those examples. Shortness of breath is a very common symptom that people describe when they're having episodes of atrial fibrillation. And it's very common that people who are in AFib consistently feel more short, shorter breath. So why do those things happen? Uh, one, it's just the heart rate by itself. The heart rate by itself. You can imagine people who have atrial fibrillation who are not well controlled may have elevated heart rates. They may be controlled when they're just sitting down not doing anything but with a little bit of activity the heart rate may become very fast. 120, 140, sometimes even faster than that. There are patients who are even when they're just sitting and resting, their heart rate's going 100, 110. So you can imagine that your heart rate's going very fast a lot. It's like as if you're running all the time and you can imagine when you're exercising, your heart rate gets up and you feel short of breath. And these people feel this way all the time. So sometimes just the heart rate by itself can make a person feel short of breath. But another, what about people who have a controlled heart rate? You know, how, does the AFib also affect shortness of breath when somebody has a controlled heart rate as well. So what are the ways in that that can happen? Uh, one is just the atrial fibrillation by itself. In atrial fibrillation, that upper chamber of your heart is just sort of quivering. It's not really squeezing properly that the way the upper chambers of the heart should. And so your heart loses some of that efficiency and that certainly can contribute to some shortness of breath. In addition, when people are in AFib consistently, very commonly the pressures inside of their heart uh, can be elevated compared to somebody who is not in atrial fibrillation. And those elevated pressures then get transmitted to the next nearest organ which is the lungs. And that's when people start getting fluid in their lungs or what's another type of diagnosis called congestive heart failure. And so that extra pressure from people when they're having atrial fibrillation sometimes can then transmit to your lungs fluid in your lungs and then cause shortness of breath and whether somebody has elevated pressures inside their heart can be best diagnosed with an echocardiogram. Echocardiogram can evaluate the overall function of the heart as well as the pressures inside of the heart to know if the atrial fibrillation is contributing to the elevated pressures in inside of the heart. Now if you're in consistently in atrial fibrillation and that's affecting some shortness of breath what are the ways in which it can be managed? Um, probably the most straightforward is to get out of atrial fibrillation. Uh, there are many ways to get out of atrial fibrillation uh, such as a Carter version which is an electrical shock to your heart to get out of atrial fibrillation and then also an ablation procedure where you're going through your groin to try to make strategic burn marks to try to get a person out of atrial fibrillation. Now not everybody is a candidate to be to have these types of uh, strategies done. Not everybody is able to get out of atrial fibrillation and some people who attempt these types of procedures they end up going back to atrial fibrillation. So what about people who don't really have an option to get out of atrial fibrillation? Are there ways to help control their shortness of breath? First would be to control the heart rate and secondly would be to control the pressures inside of the heart and that usually involves diuretic medication, fluid medication such as Lasix or other types of diuretics and that can certainly help uh, with the shortness of breath. Uh, so those are several ways in which atrial fibrillation can affect shortness of breath as well as treatment strategies in order to help try to improve somebody who's experiencing shortness of breath. Thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. Afib. I'll see you next time.